welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose if you're new. What's up? <laughs> so today's video is all about this makeup look. More focused on the skin than anything. I go through skincare products plus makeup products to give you that flawless face pretty much. If you guys want to learn more, keep on watching and let's begin. Alright guys, so we're starting off with no makeup on the face for today's video, just fresh and ready to go. I'm gonna put this headband over my head because we're gonna be doing some skincare. And this look that I'm doing today, if I can actually get this band over my hair. <laughs> and this look that I'm doing today, skincare is a very, very important. You guys know skincare is always important, but just most of the look is just focused on the skin. So we're gonna do skincare and we're gonna protect the hair. Now, if you're wondering, the products that I'm using today is from Life DNA. This is the box, how it came. It's a little dirty. And the products came in this box right here. Obviously, I don't have it in the box because I've been using the products. So the cool thing is they use your DNA to build your skincare routine. So if you have like dry skin, if you have oily skin, like I personally have oily skin, you guys know we represent oily skin. Hello. But they kind of just break down your genes slash your DNA and then create your skincare routine. So first thing is I'm starting off with the cleanser. This is a blemish soothing cleanser. So I have to also take a quiz online all about my skin. Like it was really in depth and I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> so it gave me a lot of products that I do usually would buy separately, but I got it curated into a kit. This cleanser doesn't have a harsh smell or anything. It feels really soothing like it says on the skin. Okay, now that my skin is cleansed, okay, it's washed off. There's no glands on my skin anymore. Uh, also, I know if you, a lot of you guys have been complimenting me. Compliment me. Hello, say it right, Rose. Complimenting me on my skincare routine. And the reason why is I've been using a lot of different skincare products, including Life DNA, but also other brands. You guys know I've been doing a lot of different skincare routines, whether it's natural home remedies, like, for example, a sugar scrub or um, apple vinegar, apple vinegar, apple vinegar. But I personally have been definitely investing more and more into my skincare daily because I believe if you want your makeup to look beautiful plus long lasting skin in general as you age, taking care of your skincare is more importante. So this is a rejuvenating vitamin C mask, which is perfect, especially if you have hyperpigmentation such dark spots. Vitamin C is a must for the skin. I also believe that tea tree oil is a must for the skin. To be honest, it kind of looks like ranch dressing, but it's not, okay? It's ranch dressing, but really good for your skin. How about that? Let's call it that. So we're just going to apply this all over the skin. Now I like to use a brush sometimes because it just makes my hand not get so messy. This one feels really smooth, it's not very tingly. If you guys don't know, vitamin C, especially products, helps to brighten the skin. When I apply this and then I wash it off, my skin feels really soft. So I usually let this mask sit on for about 20 to 30. Sometimes I also let this sit on for about an hour or two if I'm gonna be a bit obnoxious, to be honest. Honestly, I love when my mask sits on my skin. Now my mask is all washed off. Hello, my skin feels baby soft. I move on to my blemish soothing toner. Now I really like this toner because it's a spray one. Also, it just feels really refreshing. It doesn't feel like it's really drying my skin. In the winter months, my skin is very dry and then like some days it's kind of oily. It really has its own life. So I just work with it, you know, but I like how this feels on the skin. It doesn't feel really drying or also it's not very like slick and oily. It's just that right balance for my skin. Now I'm going to move on to my serum. Okay, so this is my vitamin C serum. Okay, like I said, I have hyperpigmentation slash dark spots. Well, I know somehow it looks like I don't have that as much anymore, but I pretty much still do to be honest guys um, So I still like to apply it in some areas of my face So I'm just gonna apply this to my skin focusing a lot on my cheek area kind of reminds me a bit of my tea tree oil that you guys know I always rave about oh, and it smells beautiful. Oh So good. So this is just gonna help to help brighten up the skin especially lighten up those dark spots or hyperpigmentation like I have like a big thing right here, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's gonna help. <laughs> so next we're gonna move on to the Blemish Soothing Moisturizer. Now, if you're wondering like why do you need a DNA moisturizer, like why can't I go to the drugstore and just get like a Garner moisturizer that's for seven bucks? It has certain ingredients that's very specific to your gene slash DNA. So this moisturizer is one, gonna help to fight off the blemishes, two, gonna help to brighten the skin, especially with the ingredients that's actually put into the product. And I love how this is not too oily, very hydrating, but not extremely oily. 
literally on the skin and you guys it feels so good on the skin I'm still like rubbing it into the skin because it just feels so good and all right guys so now that my skin is all prepped and ready for my life DNA skincare we're gonna move on to foundation this is a Maybelline 24 hour foundation if you're wondering we're going to apply this under the skin but it's a very medium to full coverage foundation it lasts all day which is awesome if you're looking for a new foundation I recommend this the colors can be a little funky to be honest but like I said the colors could be a little funky because it's not the best color range but it's not totally like terrible I just went ahead and switched my brush because this one was just not working for Morphe I don't know maybe it was just too small but I switched it to the E54 brush which I was using yesterday so I was like I'm gonna use it today so we're just gonna go ahead and blend this onto the skin all right moving on to our concealer so for our concealer today I'm using this LA Girl Pro Conceal I think the color is in Fawn yes and I'm just gonna apply this under my eyes we're going to also apply it under the other eye like so Mm -hmm. yes by the chin area I feel like to be just a little extra today with the concealer <laughs> right by the nose area yep we're gonna go for extraness and I love it so like that yes now I'm just gonna blend this out using my sponge this is my real technique sponge have you guys tried like the I think they have a body one and I have never tried it before but I heard that it's amazing have you guys tried it but this sponge helps to just blend out especially my concealer like a dream I also don't wet this sponge ever I don't wet it anymore I used to like wet it or dampen it before I applied anything but I like it more dry <laughs> I feel like it makes my concealer look a bit more flawless a bit more natural so get it oh, yeah. when your concealer looks good and you're like <laughs> and I'm just gonna blend out my chin area too like I said this look is really focused on skin more than anything I'm gonna set my skin using my Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder I feel like I have not used this powder in a little while so we're gonna use it today now this powder does have a scent so if you don't like powders that have a scent this might not be the right powder for you but I like it because it's a translucent powder and it just helps to keep my makeup in place all day it doesn't make my skin look extra cakey so I'm all about it. All right, next is I'm gonna move on to filling in my brows. I'm using this Tarte Lit palette. I know I'm using Tarte. I know, girl. I know, but it's okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using this brown shade right here to fill in my brow. My brows are really dark, so they don't need as much. So we're just gonna try to do a light hand. I always try to do a light hand. Sometimes that just doesn't work, but we're gonna try it today. So starting at the bottom, then taking a ray to the top. That is all we need. That is all we need on this brow. I'm gonna carve up my brows with some concealer. This is the Eligar Pro Concealer. Again, the same one I use under my eyes. I like to apply the concealer starting at the beginning. Just a light layer of the concealer. That's what I say and then I turn into this. This right here, no bueno. Alright guys, so I went ahead and popped on some lashes. I have a full lash video coming up, okay, sometime, probably this week. But I'm going to move on to contouring, slash bronze up the skin, slash blush. So I'm using this Coastal Sense palette that I made. And I'm just going to swirl my brush and contour a little bit. Also take some at the forehead area. Don't forget it. <laughs> like so. Whatever that's left on the brush, I like to take down the bridge of the nose. For my blush today, I'm using, uh, let's use this shade right here and apply it to the apples of my cheeks now if you guys know me you know that I usually never highlight but I feel like we're going to highlight today because the skin is so uh, just snatched we're gonna be using the same coastal sense palette that we used to apply a blush and contour we're going to go into these two shades right here I'm gonna pop a little bit on the bridge of my nose And then I'm just going to use my beauty blender just to help blend it out a bit. This is my Real Technique sponge, by the way. Hey, not my beauty blender. <laughs> then for my lips, I wanted to go for something that would pop a lot. So I'm going to use this lipstick from ColourPop. This is More Better. Alright guys, so this is the final look today. More focus on the skin. We have a bright lip. It's like that perfect, like kind of spring weather although it's not spring yet kind of look <laughs> if you guys want to check out life dna i'll put the link down below all the products that i use in today's video on my face will be down below in the description box plus link just for you also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it make sure you subscribe down below and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys
it's gonna get so much louder. 